Um, any more? This decision by Kingdom Financial Holdings, capital raising through a rights issue, trying to raise $25 million. What's prompted it? Uh, thank you, Lerato. Yes, the financial group is uh, seeking $25 million through uh, a combination of debt and equity. Uh, the, 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 the main rationale there being to capitalize the main uh, banking unit, which is Kingdom Bank uh, mm. Zimbabwe. Uh, if you recall, uh, earlier on, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe actually pronounced that uh, the minimum capital requirements for banks in Zimbabwe was mm. supposed to be $12.5 million. And as a half year, uh, our banking unit, Kingdom Bank uh, Zimbabwe, had a capital of $3 million, which was... Uh, severely below the minimum of 12.5 million. So the board and the, the shareholders right. approved that the transaction be, be, be uh, on board so that uh, funds could be raised to recapitalize that unit. Okay, let's talk about how you're going to do it. There's going to be part equity, part debt, and a series of issues. Some will be, sham shares will be issued through an IPO, others through private placement and subscription. The question is for existing shareholders. This is going to lead to significant dilution of shares. Is that a concern? Yes, the, 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 the dilution cannot, cannot be avoided in, in such scenarios. But if you look at the structure, uh, existing shareholders have been given an option. The first uh, part of the capital raising is actually a rights issue to the tune of 4.5 million. Out of that 25 million, 4.5 million is, uh, has been uh, sourced from uh, existing shareholders which have been given the chance to, to make sure uh, they, they, they try to maintain their shareholding. However, from previous scenarios, rights issues in Zimbabwe have not been uh, particularly successful. I've just taken a, 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 a random sample of about nine previous rights issues and the average uh, subscription rate was 46.32%, implying that less than half of the money that we're being looked for was actually raised through rights mm. issues. And in our scenario where we don't have an underwriter, that would imply that the money that is going to be raised through the rights issue mm. would be less than what is required to meet the minimum capital requirements. Hence the need to take on board other initiatives such as the private placement mm. and the IPO to make sure that the minimum that is required to, mm. to at least ensure that Kingdom Bank Limited is capitalized, is raised. You're looking at platforms like the JSC, the ZSC. What sort of investors are you looking to target here? Um, if you look at what has been happening in the Zimbabwean environment, the, the, the liquidity challenges have been uh, persisting since, I think, 2009, and it's still a challenge uh, which we expect to, 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 to have going forward. Uh, up to uh, at least uh, around 2015. Now, the rationale to, to go on the JSC uh, or the Mauritius exchange is uh, partially to, to, to avoid the illiquidity in the current, uh, in the local market. We have seen that uh, the joint stock exchange and the Mauritius are uh, one or the most uh, liquid markets in Africa at the moment. And to, to, to make sure that there's also international visibility mm -hmm. on the brand, uh, that these have been the markets that we've been targeted because the, the, the vision of, 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 the, of the directors, the vision of the shareholders is to become a pan-African uh, mm. financial institution with, with operations uh, right. outside Zimbabwe. At the moment, we've got operations in Botswana. And so to extend that vision, right. it has been necessary to also go into a neighboring country.